Hey guys, it's Project Sean Wall back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the stuff I use at home to make sure I'll have 100% performance. So let's get into it. Before we do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So here you can see it's a foam roller. Everybody loves a foam roller. What's better than a foam roller? But yeah, this pretty much massages your muscles. Um, it's great to use after a session or after a workout and this is what I use on almost a daily. So yeah. So here, as you can see, this is my resistant bands. Um, I use this for my strengthening of my lower body. Um, so if you're really weak, this is extra, extra heavy. So if you're weak, just don't try to use these, avoid these. Um, and I use this for my strength, sprint speed, for especially the lower body, um, and my glutes to strengthen them as well, to get more power when I use the football. Um, so yeah, yeah guys, these are all my resistant bands. Um, it goes from light to um, extra, extra heavy. I've organized them. Um, so for the footballers out there working hard, I really recommend this for you guys as it strengthens you. You can use it at home or outside, so it's really easy to use. Um, this is very cheap compared to Hami Dara, which is only, for me, £10. Um, and yeah.
guys, I hope you liked the first part of the video. It was just me, to be honest, just showing some little drills I use at home. Um, just let me know in the comments if there's anything that helped you here, and just let me know as well if I could use anything to get better, because we all want to get better. We're all grinding for the same goals. Let's help each other. Um, so yeah, let's get to the second part where I talk about myself. So who am I? I'm Sean. Not the sheep. But yeah, if you, if you see my YouTube channel, you will know that my name is Sean. Um, I'm from South London. Um, I play for Wimbledon. I recently signed for them, which I'm very grateful for. I love the team, to be honest. So, really for me. Um, so yeah, um, I, I played for Lewis and Bauer, Lewis and Dish. So position-wise, I can play left back, centre back, or right back. But my strongest position is centre back. And my goal is to one day become a professional football player to so play centre back. And yeah, and my, some of my strengths and weaknesses could be that. My weakness could be that my right foot, which is decent. But we're always working on that. And my left foot and my strength, I'm, very, I'm a very physical person. Now we're going to talk about how I got scouted. And it all started pretty much with the first lot. And as we all know, the worst day of the year for 2020. So lockdown came about and to be honest, everybody was happy to leave school because who likes school? But yeah, so school ended, everybody went back home, it was really boring and that's when I really decided that I should really take it serious and take it another notch up. So then that from there, I started training more often, I was training a lot, like three times a week. So. Try to look up. Try to look up. And I was like really working hard throughout April, June, um, July. Um, August is when I started going to showcase, ga showcase games and really training with other people of different ages so I can get stronger and better quicker. And in one of those showcase games, I got scouted by Wimbledon and Watford. And from there, and then obviously, we were, everybody was really excited, but it wasn't the best news as we weren't excited too much because we didn't know if we could go there 100%. So then from there, we just carried on and I went back to my Kent League team, which was Lucian Brower. And I played there for about three months till october november and then um i've been with them for three years four years plus and yeah so from there i started i started getting more recognition started playing more i got seen by more scouts such as tottenham crystal palace etc chelsea and that's when wimbledon called again that they wanted to see me um on a monday which i remember the exact day because it's a really good day but yeah so i went there did my thing I got picked to go again, so I went there again and I ended up being offered a trial, which I obviously took, and now I'm here. But my main, the moral of this whole story is that when the opportunity comes, you always got to remember. You always have one opportunity, sometimes more than one. But every opportunity that comes, put 100% into it and put 100% preparation. And I just hope that this inspires you to work hard and really take it up a notch, as you know. We're in another lockdown, so if you still have the time to work hard, keep working hard. Trust me, the time will come and the recognition will come. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And pretty much this has been me talking about myself and getting closer to you guys. And yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe again. And if you can, share the video to share some support and love. And I'll see you in the next video.